You may know him as Arsenal's greatest player of all time, but Thierry Henry's elegant lifestyle is off the charts. Let's uncover the most remarkable things about the Arsenal legend's lifestyle, relationship, scandals, luxurious properties, and net worth. This is Thierry Henry's lifestyle. Thierry Daniel Henry was born on the 7th of August 1977 in Les Ulis, a small suburban town in Paris. His parents Antoine and Maurice Henry are from Guadalupe and Martinique, which means that Henry is of Antillean heritage. Growing up in a small apartment in a rather tough neighborhood, Henry ventured into football after being encouraged by his father. Antoine often took his son to local football matches. When Henri was seven, he had already showed undeniable footballing talent. As a result, he was drafted into the local club in his hometown. After about five years, he switched clubs and moved to U.S. Palouzou in 1989. A year later, 13-year-old Henri had already joined the under-15 team of Viry Chatillon, but just when he needed his parents most, they separated. After much back and forth on child custody, Henri's mother prevailed and took him to Orsay to join Alexander Fleming School, but Henri bolted out. At 14, the youngster was chosen into the French Football Federation's Clairefontaine Academy, and his career was ready to kick off. During his time at the academy, Henri signed an apprentice contract with Arsene Wenger, who was the then-manager of Monaco. The Frenchman made his first professional appearance in 1994. Henri's performances earned him the French Young Footballer of the Year award in 1996. The following year, he won the league with Monaco, and after impressing the under-18 European Championships, Henri was called up to the 1998 French World Cup squad. In January 1999, the 21-year-old forward left Monaco for Juventus but left barely seven months after failing to settle at the club. He reunited with Arsene Wenger at Arsenal and that was where he became one of the best strikers ever seen in the English Premier League. 226 goals for the club in 370 appearances across eight seasons, two league titles, two FA Cups, and a Champions League finalist. Henri's time at Arsenal was truly special not just for the goals but for the scores of achievements that came along with it like their 2004 Invincible season. He finished as the Ballon d'Or runner-up in 2003, won dozens of individual awards, and became a club legend. For France, he would score 51 goals in 123 appearances to become the nation's highest goal scorer, a record which stood for years before being broken by Olivier Giroud. Henri left Arsenal for Barcelona in June 2007 after an unexpected run of events, and although he won a historic treble with Barca, he wasn't the same prolific striker who could beat defenders with pace and skill before producing a sublime finish. Henri joined the MLS side New York Red Bulls in 2010 and retired in 2014 after four and a half years at the club. After his retirement, the Frenchman worked as a pundit for Sky Sports for over three years before quitting to focus on a career as a coach. In August 2016, he became second assistant coach of the Belgium national team and was the main assistant two years after. However, his time as an assistant coach came to an abrupt end after he became Monaco's coach in October 2018. Again, his time at Monaco was short-lived. Due to his relative inexperience and Monaco's dire situation, Henri left the club three months later with a dismal record of four wins and 11 defeats from 20 games in charge. Later that year, he signed for Montreal Impact and was able to revive his managerial career with impressive results in his two years with the club. The former striker, who was inducted into the Premier League Hall of Fame in 2021, returned as Belgium's assistant coach before stepping down again in February this year. He continues to work as a studio analyst, having joined CBS Sports in their Champions League coverage. The Frenchman also works as a consultant for Amazon Prime Video League programs. If you think that's a lot of stuff going on in his career, wait until you see what his personal life looks like. Henri is currently dating Andrea Rajacic, a 36-year-old Bosnian model. The couple met each other in 2008 and have remained together since then. They gave birth to a son, Tristan Henri, in 2012. However, they are yet to tie the knot. Some people ask, why ruin a great relationship with the wedding? But what do you reckon? 
But before he met his current partner, Henri had been married to English model Claire Mary, whom he met while filming the Renault Clio adverts in 2001. It was love at first sight, and two years later, they were married at High Clear Castle. Henri and Mary had their first child, T, in 2005, but the next few years brought a lot of scandals. Henri and makeup artist Sadie Hewlett were said to have had an affair after a photo shoot session. Apparently, she wasn't the only one, as Henri also allegedly had an encounter with Chloe Walton in 2006. His ex-wife found out and filed for a 10 million pound divorce settlement that went her way. Henri is rumored to have two other children, Tatiana and Gabriel, but details about them are largely unknown. The 45-year-old has a lifestyle that is similar to the average person. Music and dancing are perhaps two of his biggest hobbies. Despite his strict fitness programs, he would not trade his native Caribbean foods for anything else. Henry is an avid fan of the NBA, and you would often find him with his friend Tony Parker at games. The San Antonio Spurs are his favorite team. As for tattoos, Henri's got them in plenty. He once unveiled a full sleeve tattoo on his right arm with a New York themed body art on the left arm. You will find features of the Statue of Liberty and what looks to be the Brooklyn Bridge. Having experienced a messy divorce, racist comments, and some forms of social media bullying, Henri decided to step away from social media in 2021. So you won't even find his official Instagram or Twitter handles. While Henri was still at Arsenal, he purchased a home in Hempstead, North London that was reported to be worth $10 million and also a $15 million penthouse in New York. While playing for the New York Red Bulls in the MLS, the former Arsenal man purchased the top two floors of his Soho apartment building, and rumors have it that he expanded to the floor below. According to reports, his 5,600-square-foot apartment has floor-to-ceiling windows, an open-plan kitchen, a media room with a wet bar, and a bamboo garden. The Frenchman showed just how crazy his taste for luxury could be when he attempted to build a four-story fish tank in his Hampstead home in 2012. However, the plan did not suit his family needs, so it fell through. As for cars, he owns a $350,000 Aston Martin Vanquish, a Rolls-Royce Phantom, a Bentley Continental, a Ferrari Enzo, and Dodge Charger SRT8. Back in the day, he also had an Audi Q7 in his garage. With all these assets and luxuries, what do you reckon his net worth to be? Henri played for Monaco, Juventus, Arsenal, Barcelona, and New York Red Bulls during his career. At Barca, he earned 6.8 million euros per year, and at the MLS, he had a base salary of $5.6 million, guaranteed annually. And during the height of his career with the Gunners, he was reeling in up to £6 million annually. Henri also earned over $50 million from brand endorsement deals during his career with partnerships with Nike, Reebok, Pepsi, Puma, Gatorade, and many more. At his peak, he was one of the most marketable athletes in the world. As a pundit for Sky, Henri reportedly earned £4 million annually. Last year, he became an investor and minority stakeholder at Serie B Club Como. Putting it all together, it is safe to say that Thierry Henry's net worth is over $100 million. But he gave some of that money back to charity. When Henri served as Roberto Martinez's assistant at Belgium, he did not take home a salary. Rather, he donated his entire salary from the national team to charity. He also has spoken up against racism and social media bullying. The Frenchman supports several health foundations and has participated in charity football games for various causes. The 45-year-old is also a supporter of the Special Olympics, providing funds for projects through the One for All Foundation. Apart from his messy divorce, perhaps one of his biggest controversies happened back in 2009 during the World Cup playoff tie between France and Ireland. The striker appeared to use his hand to score the winning goal that saw France progress at the expense of Ireland. From being one of the greatest strikers ever to building a solid post-playing career, Thierry Henry's legacy is set in stone, and his luxurious yet charitable lifestyle reaffirms his greatness.